some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I woke up to this this morning. Hello. We received the copyright infringement notification below regarding your video. We believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealing, or similar exception to copyright protection. We are writing you to let you know we do not plan to remove your video at this time. You have control over the ability of your videos on your channel, including the ability to delete, delete them if you choose. Now, let's just click the link here and see which one of my videos was attacked and by whom it was. Now, where would the signs be that says... Sir, sir. And started our security office because you don't have mass... Miss who? Miss awesome. Let's take a look at this. Central Georgia Police Transparency. Ah, uh, yes, we all know who it is now. Georgia Transparency tried to do a false copyright strike on my video, and YouTube rejected it. Oh, what a failure you are. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, because this one's a screamer. So yeah, let's take a look at exactly what he said about my videos in the copyright takedown notification he filed. Oh my god, that's it? That is incredibly vague and bare bones. I will leave it up there for a moment for you guys to process, because that's all it says. There's no detail in it whatsoever. Hell, whenever I file a counter notification on any one of my copy strikes, like... I receive, I put a lot of detail into it. This is very poor quality and quite laughable. <laughs> but just for reference sake, here is what he is talking about as far as sections 3 and 4 go. Pause it and read it if you want to, but I'm going to continue on from here. Now, as I recall, the video was a about an hour long. Most of the video, as usual, was a lot of dead air. And of course, the video commentary is transformative in nature, so therefore it counts as fair use. Go study up on fair use, dude. I know Frauditor Troll has tried to educate you on it several times, but you fail to listen. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Now, on number four, I seriously doubt that you suffered due to me trying to, oh, critique you on this video. And let me tell you why. Because whenever I try to post it, this is what happened to it. It got limited monetization, and I'll tell you why it happened. Because there was a great deal of commotion in there, including a fight. And that kind of thing can lead to limited monetization, so which leads me to believe that you didn't make much money off of it either. Oh yeah, and speaking of monetization, do you really want to know how much I made off this video well here it is here's the screenshot right here because of its limited monetization i only made a dollar 12 off of it are you really so hard up for cash right now that you're willing to do this over a dollar 12 it makes me wonder how much money you made off of the original video itself considering you probably had the same issue if you were so hard up for cash and needed that dollar twelve, I could have loaned you a couple bucks. In all due seriousness, though, people like old Rusty here, when they see the opportunity to infringe on your First Amendment rights, they always take that opportunity to do so. Oh, sure, they preach about being First Amendment all the way, freedom of speech and everything like that. 
but when they are talked about, uh, they become a bunch of hypocrites and crybabies. And they continue to prove it with all these false copyright strikes. How pathetic.